to this mission we have already established Sri Venkata Krishna Vrindavana, the company for the charity and also we have already established the new website venkatavrinda.org. We seek the support from all over uh, the United Kingdoms for this good cause. Pushnam Munde Manthapashataram Divya Prakatatim Shikavantatrayo Petam Bhaishmi Matvakarachitam Vyasaya Pavanashaya Srishaya Gunarashaya Hrityaya Shutavityaya Matvaya Chanamogamaha Uttilpadam Vishutheriam Nirpayatvam Parogata Ajartyam Vakpadutvancha Hanumas Parnatham Ujjaya Rakhavendraya Satya Dharma Rataya Cha Bhajatam Kalpavrakshaya Namatam Kamathena Apadam Odipariyantam Guru Ram Akhartam Sparet Dena Vikhanaha Pranashyanti Sityanti Jamanavarataha Sri Guru Pyodam Kalu Venkata Nayako According to Shastra during Kala Yuga Devotees, they should make the upasana meditation of Lord Venkateshwara or Lord Venkata Krishna. Krishna Varanam, Kalu Krishnam, Sango Pangam, Saparshadam, Yajnihi Sankirtana Prayaihi, Ejantispa Sumetasa. This loka says, during Kali Yuga, Krishna Upasana is the meditation of Lord Krishna is considered as a great sadhana. To bless the devotees of Kali Yuga, Lord Mahavishnu has taken the form of Sri Krishna. That is why he has appeared in the end of Dvapara. According to the rule of Mahavishnu, he is not supposed to take any avatara during Kali Yuga. He is named as Triyuga Bhuti. Lord, he is taking avatara, all avatara during Krita Yuga, Treta Yuga and Dvapara Yuga only. During Kali Yuga, he has banned his avatara himself. But still he wanted to uplift his devotees during Kali Yuga also. To maintain his rule and also to bless the devotees, Lord Mahavishnu has taken the avatar of Lord Sri Krishna. That is why he has appeared in the border of, in the ending border of Dwapara, so that he can influence, he can uplift the devotees during Kali Yuga. In the end of Dwapara, Lord Mahavishnu has appeared in the form of Lord Krishna and he blessed the devotees of Kali Yuga also. That is why during Kali Yuga, Sri Krishna Upasana is considered as must. Sadhakas, they can meditate any other rupas like Matsya, Kurma, Vara, Anarasimha. But they should meditate Sri Krishna. This is the system of Lord Mahavishnu. He has selected his different different forms to bless the group of different different devotees. According to that rule, he has selected the form of Lord Krishna to bless the devotees of Kali Yuga only. That is why during Kali Yuga, whatever we do the Satkarma, in the end of Satkarma, we should say Sri Krishna Pranamastu. If you say this one, Sri Krishna Pranamastu, then only you will be granted by His blessings. Though we offer all our Satkarmas to other forms like Sri Rama, Narasimha, or Vamana, whatever, but it should be forwarded to Sri Krishna Instead of that, if you 
farmer, all of us are karma to Lord Sri Krishna directly, then you will be blessed very soon. That is why during Kali Yuga, the end of all such karma, each one should say Sri Krishna Namaste. The Krishna is meant for the devotees of Kali Yuga. That is why Lord Mahavishnu, he has shown many leelas during Krishna Vata. He didn't show this kind of leelas in any other avatars. Because the devotees of Kali Yuga, they like more leelas. They like more entertainment. They want to enjoy the leelas of Lord more. That is why for their sake, Lord Mahavishnu has shown many leelas during Kali Yuga, during Krishna Avatara and he wanted to bless the devotees of Kali Yuga. That is why our Acharya, Sri Madhvacharya, he has established the form of Sri Krishna in UDP. Each one should worship Lord Krishna and each one should be blessed by Lord Krishna and each one should be granted his wishes by Lord Krishna. That is why Varacharya has selected the form of Krishna for the sake of the devotees of Kali Yuga. The same Krishna, once again, he has appeared in the form of Venkata Krishna in Tirupati. He wanted to attract more devotees. That is why he has taken the form of Venkata Krishna. Venkata Krishna is the god of wealth. He is considered as Kanchanapram. Udupi Krishna is considered as Annapram. The devotees of Kali Yuga, they are behind money. If money we can get, then they do more puja. That is why the same Krishna has appeared in the form of Venkata Krishna once again to attract more devotees during Kali Yuga. That is why Kalu Venkata Nayako. During Kali Yuga, Venkata Krishna is considered as the great form of Lord to, worship, to be worshipped. And also for the sake of the devotees during Kali Yuga, the same Krishna has appeared in the name of Vittala. Vittala is the form of Lord Krishna. When Krishna was child, his friends Gopalakas, they used to call Krishna by the name Vittala. That is why we can say Vittala is the nickname of Lord Krishna. That is why it is the favorite name of Lord Krishna. All the time, the person, he likes his nickname than the official name. The same thing with Krishna. He likes the name of Vittala. So, Lord Mahavishnu has taken three forms to bless more and more the devotees of Kali Yuga. One is the Kanchana Brahma and according to the mentality of Kali Yuga's devotees and according to the mentality of Kali Yuga devotees he has taken the form of Krishna also and also the form of Vittana. Devotees, they consider there are three Brahmas. One is Kanchana Brahma and another one is Nada Brahma and another one is Anna Brahma. That is why if you go to Tirupati, you can see Kanchana Brahma. You can have the atmosphere of Kanchana Brahma. To get the darshan also, you should buy the ticket. You should book the ticket. If you pay more, then you will get special darshan and if you do big seva, then you can have more time to stay in front of top three months. To get prasadam also, you should pay money and you should pay money in the Hundi also. So every step, you should keep your pocket open because he is Kanchana Brahma. Not only he is receiving, receiving the money, but once you he receives the money, then he will multiply that money and he will give back to us. That is why people, they rush to have the glimpse of Venkateshwara in Tirupati. Once we get the darshan, when we come back, our business will increase and our land value will go up 
and uh, share will shoot up like anything. That is why people, they want to take Darshan more and more of Lord Venkateshwara. That is why he is considered as Panchanathana. And you can see money everywhere. And if you come to Pandarapur in Maharashtra, you need not pay money. Straight away you can go to the temple and you can worship Lord Vitruva and you can do whatever you want. You can put the peda to his mouth and you can embrace him. Because in the form of Vitruva, Sri Krishna wanted to bless all kinds of people and that is why he just wants bhajans. That is why he is considered as Narapan. And if you come to UDP, all the time you can see people they are eating morning, afternoon and evening. Our Krishna is considered as Anna Brahma. So he wants more Anadana. That is why Krishna is <coughs> called as Anna Brahma. The story runs behind the Kudupi Krishna is very interesting. 5,000 years back when Lord Mahavishnu has taken the form of Krishna, after finishing his avatara's mission, Paritranaya Satvunam Vinashaya Tadishkutam, Dharma Samstapana Thaya Sambhava Mithuvi Yuki, he went to Dwaraka and he took political retirement and he was enjoyed with his 16,000 wives. According to his mission, he has already killed many demons like Kamsa, Chandra, Pushtika, Pranavarta, Devkasra, Pritani. And in the end of the Avatara, in Mars, in Mahabharata, he killed Kauravas and all demons. And at the same time, he has uplifted his devotees like Pandavas, Vidura, and <coughs> Kuchera, Sudhama, Rivakra. Many devotees were protected him. And he fulfilled his mission of the avatara. Then he went to Dwaraka, uh, where he was enjoyed with his 60,000 wives. One day, his mother Devaki, she seemed very sad. Krishna was surprised and he saw, why you are so sad today, he asked. Then Devaki, she replied, see all these people, they praise you like anything. Whenever I hear that story, I am very much upset. Krishna asked, why you are upset when you are <coughs> hearing my Leelas? Then Devaki, she replied, do you know what they say? All the time they narrate, you have showed this Leela to your mother Yashoda and that Leela like that. Whenever they name Yashoda as your mother, it pinches me like anything. Who is she? She is not real mother. I am the real mother, but I didn't see any Leela of you. You didn't show any Leela to me who is real mother. You have shown all Leelas to that lady who is not even real mother, artificial mother. So I am very much sad to miss this Leela. That is the nature of all mothers. The most happiest time for them is witnessing their children, child's pranks. Devaki said, what is the use of being your mother? I could see any need of you. That's why I'm, whenever I hear your Balalila, I am very much upset. Then Krishna replied, oh, I didn't know all these things all the time. You didn't express. Today I came to know that my mother is very sad and she is very upset on me. So I should <coughs> remove that. I should rectify that because I have established dharma, dharma samsthapana I, I said each one should worship mother first and father and guru, matra devo bhava, pitra devo bhava, acharya devo bhava, everyone should please their father, mother and guru. But I didn't do that. Though I have come to establish dharma, I missed them. Krishna says, don't worry, once again I will please you. So saying, he became a child in front of Devaki. Devaki, she didn't know what to do. Suddenly she rushed to the kitchen and brought the pot of curds and started to churn. Then the child comes, asks for butter. Please give me butter. And Devaki refused and refused. And again and again she was used to ask. Again and again she was refusing. Then Krishna became angry. And he said, if you are not going to give butter, 
I know how to get it. Devaki says, I meant for making the ghee, not for eating. Then Krishna became very angry and he jumped into her and he snatched that churning rod and he broke the pot and whole curls were spread out and he took the butter and ran away. Far away he was smiling and he was <coughs> declaring my mother was defeated. I could get the butter. I won the game like that, holding churning rod and rope and smiling. He was beaming like anything. All these things were witnessed with this beloved wife Rukmini behind the room. When the child broke the pot and took the butter and after holding churning rod and rope ran away, far away, standing and beaming and smiling, that figure was so attractive, the <coughs> his beloved wife Rukmini, who was watching behind the door, rushed to the spot and embraced that child. At that time there was no child. Her husband was in front of her and he was smiling. Rukmini says, what a beautiful figure of a child in front of you. I want to see that all the time in front of you. And Sri Krishna he ordered the divine sculptor Vishwakarma to call that kind of figure and accordingly he called that on Shalik Ramshila and he, Krishna presented that idol to his beloved wife Rukmini. And Rukmini started to worship that idol. And after this Krishna Avatara, after 4,000 years, another divine personality has come down to the earth. This time this is Vayu. Lord Vayu, he has taken the form of Hanuman as Brahmachari. He wanted to service to the <coughs> offer the service to Lord Sri Ram. And secondly, during Dwapara era as a Grahastha, he wanted to worship Lord Sri Krishna in the name of Vimasena. And now during this Kali Yuga, to worship Lord Vedavyasa in the form of Sanyasi, the same Vayu has come to this earth in the form of Madhvacharya. Sri Madhvacharya has he appeared in <coughs> Pajaka Kshetra near Udipi as the son of Madhya Bhatta and Vedavati. And when he was 10, he started to preach and he has started a new philosophy called Dvaita and he has started to propagate Krishna Bhakti everywhere. One day he was meditating on seashore near Udupi, that's called Malpe, and all of a sudden <coughs> one ship was coming there and the, that ship was taken by the storm, big storm all of a sudden. The owner of the ship started to cry, save, save, save me. Then Acharya opened his eyes and saw the ship, the ship is going to sink. Immediately he took his bathroom and he had given the alayam. Within no time there was no storm. The owner of the ship realized the power of Acharya and straight away he came to the shore and straight away he came to Acharya and did Sashtanga. He said, you are the person who has given the second life to me, you saved me, that's why I am going to offer everything to you. My ship moves and all these things. Acharya says, I can't accept all these things because I am not a businessman. I what can I do by taking the goods and all these things? But the guy says, no, once it is offered, it is offered, you should accept it. And Acharya says, no, I will do one thing. I will accept something from you. You give the piece of Gopit Chandan case in your ship. I will accept that. Accordingly, that piece of Gopit Chandan was offered to Acharya and Acharya broke that idol as uh, Gopi Chandan, then you could see the beautiful idol of Lord Sri Krishna which is standing, holding standing rod and rope and smiling one which was worshipped by Rukmini Devi during Dwapara era. To see that idol for Acharya was so more joy and without knowing when Stotras of Lord Krishna has come out which is famous like Dwadasha Stotra and our Acharya took that idol to Udipi and established that idol in Udipi and started to worship. And that is why he started to offer Annam. Once the idol, the Krishna, he was eating the butter and he is Navanita Krishna. That is why our Acharya started to have the meditation of Annam Brahma in that idol. That is why he has given the Akshaya Pakram in Udupi. And that is why he has ordered every day another should be here. And he has nominated eight Swamiji's to worship them in rotation that is called 
Pariaya and that Guru <coughs> Parampara, my Vasa Master Guru, Srimad Vacharya, and Bhupinda Tita, I am the 30th Swami there, and I am worshipping Lord Krishna in that Pariyaya system. And the rest of the time, I am traveling all over the world and propagating Sri Krishna Bhakti everywhere, and I am going up and giving the message of Bhagavad Gita everywhere. So Krishna is considered as Anna Brahma in Murupi, that is why every day Annadhanam will be there and in our centers also every day we are doing the Annadhanam. And that is why Udupi is famous for food. Yeah, everywhere you can see the Udupi hotels is very famous because of the blessings of Krishna. So we are very glad to propagate the Krishna Bhakti everywhere with our Sri Krishna Annadhanam temples and the Venkata Krishna temples. And, and this time we are very glad to have the big temple of Venkata Krishna and Sri Raghavendra Swamiji in London, UK. And we are very glad to see the big support from the uh, devotees here. And we are very, very glad to offer our prayer to fulfill this great mission <coughs> by the place of our Krishna during the special day of Sri Raghavendra and Guru Maharatana. And we have already uh, have a place to stay priest in Wembley. And we have already started the Nitya Puja there. And we are very glad to uh, do the service in London, UK. And we hope that our London temple will be the biggest temple and then will be supported by devotees. And I am very glad to announce this one during the special day of